Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create Scrum Board here in Jira. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Jira, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Creating a scrum board in Jira is a great way to manage and visualize your team's work in this environment. Now, it's a very straightforward process. And the first thing that you want to do, if you are already here on your Jira account, you need to navigate to the dashboard. And once we are here, you just have to navigate to the project where you want to create a scrum board. You can find your projects listed in the left side panel. For example, I'm working with the D Labs software project. There's going to be an option also here on the create. Okay, so if you wanted to create No, it's on the other side. You see on the board, click on that. Now you see this is going to be the board and you can create a new board here. And obviously we have already have a scrum board worked out. And you're going to be able to, of course, put in some people here if you wanted. For example, you can put people to deep laughs, scrum board via the Google, Slack, Microsoft. And you can assign members here as an administrator who can do most things, a member or a viewer only who cannot have any permissions and authority to access the files. Just, you know, just look at it. All right. And um, on the to-do list, Obviously, you can set column limit if you wanted. For example, um, you can put in like 69 maximum limit. Click on save and you can go basically to the board. To the backlog, all right? That's one way. Now, another um, way is to create, go to projects. You need to create a new project from scratch if you wanted a new uh, Scrum board already. Now you have all these templates that you can choose from and um, I'm just going to choose the templates based on how similar teams work. Okay. Um, but for now, I'm choosing the design. You can start fresh with a blank business project template or the project management. Maybe I'm working with the uh, design service management. Is it? Let me just look at it. Okay. Now I'm going to use or try this template and wait for it to load because it's um, pulling out some data. All right. Now you see, just click on next and wait for it. Now, of course, later Jira will give you options to create the board once it's finished. But again, um, it takes a little time so that most of the time, if you have already uh, a data that is available on your project, you might want to convert that to the Scrum board so you don't have to deal with creating a Scrum board from scratch. But we are here to show you options on how to create a Scrum board and tweak some settings to your preferences and needs. And um, your Scrum board can have a meaningful name that reflects its purpose or the team it belongs to. That's one way because if you're working from scratch, you can choose the project that the uh, Scrum board will be associated with, which is this new project. New project, new board or Scrum board where we're going to create some issues and tasks later on. Okay, and just wait for it. I'm going to click on next. And as you can see here, just follow the on-screen prompts okay now now another option is go again to the uh, projects and create project and i want you to select the uh, software development all right here you have an option to create a scrum okay and that's two ways and of course you can use this template of course you can you choose a project type You'll need to create a new project if you decide to switch project types later. All right. Of course, just select at um, if you have an option for the company manage project, which I don't have because I'm just using this account for any 
Jira related tutorial. But if you are part of an organization, you may wish to use the select a company manage project. In my case, just the purple one. In this case, I'm going to name it as maybe Deep Labs. Um, scrum board you choose an access level for example it's all on private only admins and people you add to the project can search for or limited anyone with access to the deep labs jira site can search or anyone with access to the deep uh this link can do it all right we we'll just leave this as it is don't want to deal with that but if you check on that you see you can choose a descriptive prefix for your project's issue. Okay. I'm going to click on. Now you see there's going to be a. You can change the template. You can use this Chrome from Jira. All right. Sprint toward your project goals with the board back like in timeline. Or you might want to change the uh, change type. Or in um, you can control your own working processes and practices in a self contained space. I'm not going to change uh, this for now. I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to click on uh, next. All right. Just wait for it. And again, it takes a little while. And there you go. This is going to be your Scrum board. But um, I'm going to put in like deep laughs. Scrum board. And now as you can see, you can create backlogs, um, task here, and a lot more. All right. So... You can set column limit again, like 69 column limit. You have a uh, option here on the uh, upper right corner. You can manage workflow. You can manage custom filters. You can also configure the board settings, all right? You can uh, change the uh, workflows if you wanted. You have the to-do. You have the progress. You can set the status for task. We have a separate video on how to change your issues here, all right? You can edit the column if you wanted. For example, it's done. Going to uh, completed. All right. Or maybe like this one. You click on save or update. Okay. Click on save changes. And that's basically how you create Scrum board here in Jira. All right. Now, by following all of these steps, you should be able to start using Scrum board in Jira, helping your team manage and visualize work effectively in a collaborative environment i find it very useful when um, using this scrum board if you're working with multiple people inside this specific projects because you can have a centralized place where all tasks and their statuses are visible and team members can easily communicate about work and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video